this is so weird, but like when I see people who like drive the same car as me, it's a connection. I literally verbally exclaim, "Hey sis!" Like I say it out loud to myself. I'll be like, "Hey world," <laughs> as if like number one they can hear me, and as if number two it means absolutely anything. That means that you guys have a similar lifestyle. It means we have a similar lifestyle. Like we we value You're the connected. same things. We're exactly. Almost made you love me. Almost made you cry. Almost made you happy, babe. Didn't I? You almost had me thinking. Hi, you guys. What's up? It's me, Tom Classic, and I'm here with Leah. And we are about to do a mukbang. So yeah. It's Taco, it's Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, I feel a lime in here. It is Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. Oh. But I have a burrito. Oh my god, that looks so good. Hey, no, show them. You guys, we went to this El Salvadorian restaurant. Mm -hmm. I thought the lady was really nice. She think? was. I thought she was nice. She probably thought I was slow because I didn't really. I mean, low key, she was speaking kind of fast. And at first, second, I was like, is she speaking in Spanish? But then I was like, no, she's not. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on. And when I don't have my glasses on, I can't hear, I can't see, mm. I can't taste. It affects other senses. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I'm breathing right right now. Oh my God. Tell the girls what you got. So I have two steak and a chicken taco with cilantro. Well, nope, they didn't give me that, but onions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a and steak verde. burrito with everything on it. Mm. I'm sorry mm -hmm. if you guys hear like ambulances and stuff going in the background, girl. We are in the ghetto. You know, oh my gosh. The ghetto. I'm sorry, was that offensive? Was no, like, I was oh, like, are they okay? Oh, yeah. It's just a fire truck. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, Ooh, to say that. <laughs> this is my burrito, y'all, and they give me these sauces. <laughs> Sauce. Okay, let me not spill this. I just love the color. It's like so. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. Let me not let me spill down. it. You know, like when you're, you know, like when you were like doing too much as a kid and you like spill your food as machine. Your mom was like, sit down. We have yeah. to show our drinks. Oh yeah. Is that like another fire truck? I have Splash. It's carrot and orange drink. Bebida de juego de zahanora con naranja. Naranja. I have Yaritos guava. Mm -hmm. Yaritos. Yaritos! She already opened it for me. Oh, yeah, she did. Okay, I'm just. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh. I'm into it. I'm so into it. This is refreshing. This is very quenching. That's the perfect word for that. Hydrate. Hydrate. Refresh. Okay, I'm gonna second. Have you taken the first bite? Nope. Take first bite. I'm ready. Go on. Mm -hmm. mm. I should put some of this on there. Are you for it? You got limes. You want a lime? I got like extra. Go I'm so it. glad you asked because I, I'm a, I do want a lime. Like I'm a lime kind of Okay, we're doing lime. I'm saucing it up. Oh yeah. Saucing it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm living. Oh my gosh, thank you. This is fabulous that I have like this little dashboard situation that we can just set our. <gasps> nice. You know? Nice. I just realized that we could do that. Nice. Nice. Feel free to try some of this if you want some of this one. Um, yeah, I'll definitely mm -hmm. try. Is it spicy? Is it like chipotle? It's a little spicy, but it's not like off putting, you know? You can't see that. Let me look at that. Okay, yeah, I should have got that. Oh, oh my god. Okay, no, it's the orange one. The orange one is kind of spicy. Oh my god. You want some of this rice? I mean, I mean, it's just not feasible with the tools that we have, you know. <laughs> Use the cup that the salsa came in. Mm. Here, a shot of rice. I'm living. Bottoms up. Yes. Mm. No, that's a party. Could you be with somebody after they cheated on you? Mm mm. No. Because then, for a while, you were like, oh. I love you so much. I forgive you. It honestly depends on the circumstances. Thank you. I don't, I don't, I always say like, I used, I always used to say no, but now, mm -hmm. I always used to say no, but now I feel like. <clears throat> there's always a level of disrespect with level, cheating. Exactly. But that, true. True. And so. It, it has to stem from some type of unhealthy relationship. Mm -hmm. Whether you think that you guys are good and that, oh, we love each other and everything's great. It was just a mistake. There's no mistakes when it comes to engaging in romantic actions with someone other than your partner. Exactly. 
there has to be some sort of insecurity on your part or their part where you just feel like, mm, let me try something new. Let me try something new. As if this is not giving you something, you know? Right. Like, if you're completely, fully happy, you won't. You're not going to go look elsewhere. I feel like the time that I've only been cheated on one time and the time I got cheated on, the biggest thing for me was just like that feeling of being disgusted. Like, mm -hmm. boy, ew, how could you go and lay up on somebody else? And like, were you thinking of me? Did you did you forget about me in that moment? Like, how could you just like go and like it's disrespectful? You're right. Like, the, I just remember feeling so gross, like ew, and then come back and lay up with me, like ew, ew. I could forgive, and, mm -hmm. and I could maintain a friendship. I think mm -hmm. because with the first person ever cheated on me, I do. I used to think like we were always gonna be friends, you know. I, and when that happened, it just like ruined a friendship. Cause I was like, damn, like why did you? Yeah, I, I remember you thinking, don't trust him anymore. No, and I remember knowing that we weren't gonna date forever. I remember knowing that. Mm. I, I remember like visualizing a point in my mind like where we stopped dating and just went to being friends, and like maybe even started dating other people, but we were still friends. I remember mm. like visualizing that. But when I got cheated, I was like, you just messed it all up. Like you just ruined it. My turn. I've been cheated on multiple times. Yeah, I know them was crazy. Oh my god. Um. Wait. Is that the police? Is that the police? I was a very careless kind of person. Like, mm. I'm super bubbly. I'm like, hi, I love everyone. To the fact where people weren't getting enough attention from me. All because right. they're like, oh, you're just so trusting, you don't care. And it's like, it's not that I didn't care. I just never felt the need to hound someone. I know my worth. I know I'm the hey. prize. Why you are the prize, girl. My dad used to tell me that all the time. You guys just like look at her like, Look at how clear and beautiful your skin is. Girl, it's this Maybelline Fit Me in 368. Work. Uh, a drugstore queen. I stand. You, with mm -hmm. some of the money that y'all spent on makeup, girl, I could buy a prosthetic leg. I don't know if that was the best example because it's not like I need to buy a prosthetic leg. Right? Yeah. I, would, I would be buying a prosthetic The fact leg. that I was like, legs. Yeah. But you legs. know, like, prosthetics are actually really expensive for the girls mm -hmm. who like, have to buy those. Those are an expense. That's unfortunate. It is because it's like you need one. It's like I can't like not have a leg. <laughs> I was working with this guy with a prosthetic hand yesterday. <laughs> Ableism. Mm. And like discrimination towards people that... Oh. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> In universities and public places and public spaces, restaurants and stuff like that. Like I think mm -hmm. about the fact that if you are handicapped... It's a whole different lifestyle. Like the, the thought of going to, oh, I'm going to just go to Taco Bell is completely different than... You said you were thinking Taco Bell too. I was also thinking Taco Bell because it's right there. But I think that's something that gets left out when we think about like, when we ha have these conversations about discrimination and exclusion and stuff like that. Like, I think that's something that goes unnoticed. And another thing, like we were just saying, I mean, granted, we were joking, but <clears> in reality, <throat> prosthetics and stuff, it's like... They're very expensive. I went to this town hall meeting and like the blind association for our city. First of all, one of the men that got up there was fine, girl. Like he was, he was blind, but he was fine. I he mean, was like, I know yeah. you can't see me, but I can see you. Boom, okay. He was talking about how like they're seeing um, utensils and mm -hmm. like br think, translating things in braille, getting their mail translated in braille. He was like listening all this stuff. I just did not even realize was a thing that was, there's a task, like it's an expense. Wow. Your mail, like you have to have to get their mail translated. And if someone doesn't do that, girl, they just cannot read their mail. They could be having jury duty. Literally. Girl, I had jury duty a few months ago and I didn't show up. I right. still like, ho I'm hoping like nothing happens. But That's what they were, they, they clocked you. That probably was them earlier. They that ambulance, <laughs> Your FBI just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's who was in the backseat with the, <laughs> we've got him. <laughs> On a taco Tuesday. <laughs> Honestly, was like semi excited because I was like, oh my God, what am I going to wear? Mm. I know there's like more pressing matters. No, no, no. That's always fun. I would just vote it to be sitting in the, in the courtroom like, Your Honor, I object. Mm -hmm. Get him out of here. I, I was, <laughs> this like, this, here. like, court hasn't even started yet. What are you objecting <laughs> to, bro? And just imagine a little person who's like taking the. Literally. And they got a period. I object. Quotation. I applied for that job. Mm. I didn't get it. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life anyway. You're, You're better right. than that. I object. I'm joking. That's actually a really amazing job. And it pays very well. Side note, speaking of like exercise and stuff, I used to love working out, but I'm, I'm thick out here and I don't care. I'm happy. But on the topic of like working out, I keep seeing like a lot of people like working out. I'm like, man, I really love that stuff. I should get back in it. But my biggest fear is like, I don't know if people know this, that when you are a larger woman and you lose a lot of weight, you become squishy. Mm. 
and I'm dense right now. Like I'm not just like I'm not like big and fluffy. I'm no, like dense. I got like, muscles and shit. Like, yeah, he's firm. Yeah, like my legs don't jiggle when I walk. Boom. Type deal. Okay. Like I'm Meg the Stallion, big sister. I love that for you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what did you? Was that a burp? It was. Yeah, it came out my nose. Because it's like good though. Mhm. Mm oh my god, this is so good. I'm so happy so right good, now. Right? You work it the f out, girl. Like, I really, this took a lot. It took a lot because when I was in high school, I was a good size, like 14, like 13, 12 to 14. Like, I didn't have any stomach. Yeah, I didn't have any, I didn't know what a gut was. I had like boobs and like legs and stuff. Still, 2012 me, I, I took it for granted. I was out here looking like the chicks was like getting their butts done and stuff. I still didn't have, uh, excuse me. Fine. Butts are overrated. If I could choose, <laughs> boobs or butt? Use butt. I think I would use butt. I would. Any day. But you know, my boobs are great. I can't. We've got an attachment, obviously. Absolutely. And they sit up, girl. Whoa! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Okay. You know Real Housewives? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Portia, you saw that Portia's husband cheated on her while she was pregnant. Mm. She was on Watch What Happens Live last night or the night before, talking mm. about how she's staying with him and they've, they've gotten re-engaged. Because they want to do what's best for their family. Your thoughts? Oh my god, girl, he, his car was hanging off, honey. <laughs> I mean, girl, like he could have just took part of it and left it at home. <laughs> what do you think about that? Reengage. 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 Um, like I said, there's a level of disrespect, and I feel like because she is in the eye of, I guess, media, mm. there is an expectation for you to share that type of information. And to share what you you've gone through to make that decision, because not it not only one gives other women who are in similar situations hope that the relationship can be rekindled, but also two gives the women who let it go uh, opportunity to be like, well, at least I ain't do what that bitch did. She did it on TV. Mm, so that's so true. <laughs> it's most it's it's mostly I do that. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because I know how these reality shows work. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Is cutting her a check because they would rather have her as a couple than by herself. Mm -hmm. I feel like couple and family stuff gets more ratings than like single. And mm. so maybe, mm -hmm. girl, oh my god. Oh my god, are you like about to? Doesn't that look like a human trafficking van? Lock your door! Hey, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it was locked. Oh my god. Girl, my car literally. It's a 2007, but it doesn't serve 2007, does it? It no. serves me like 2002. Like, Not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the dynamic of the curvature. Yeah. <laughs> gives me 2009. Okay. But like, I thought the interior is serving me like. Wait, is this a window thing? <laughs> 2002. Yes. <laughs> Some of these cars are so nice, girl. When I get a newer ones, I'm like, oh my god, do I need a boarding pass to be in here? Oh my. <laughs> Ooh, ready for takeoff. All right. That's really how the I The Cadillac feel. 2020. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, my mom has this rear root camera on hers. Mm. Spoiled. I just like shoved the entire rest of the burrito on my mouth. I have like <laughs> three whole burrito or three whole tacos though. Yeah, and these are like. She did. These are kind of like, those are kind of big. How tall are you? I think I'm 5'8". Okay, so we're tall girls. Mm -hmm. And my, my niece was with us and she's tall too. <laughs> and I feel like. When we walked in, like, they looked at us like, okay, these girls are ready to eat, Excuse period. Me. Like, we walked in tall, <clears throat> while it's out, ready, like... Give me what I give want. Give me what I want. So I went up there and I was like, I'm gonna get a burrito. And then I got to the the lady and I was like, can I get three tacos? As I'm ordering my tacos, my mind says, bitch, get you some nachos. And I'm like, stop, stop, stop. stop, stop, stop. Can I get some rice? <laughs> that was a smart choice. Although if you got the nachos, I would have supported you and I would have made them with you. Thank you. I like that's what friends are for, you know? Yeah. We are going to sign off. Um, that's the end of our mukbang. You guys can follow Leah on Instagram at... Instalia. Very plain, simple, straight to the point. Please do. Please follow her because maybe it'll make her post photos. Okay? No tea, no shade. Now, um, subscribe to this channel, okay? You need to give this video a thumbs up. You need to check me out on Instagram at Till Classic and check out my fashion lifestyle blog, www.tillclassic.org. I don't know if I've like actually said it in a video yet, but I am doing Vlogmas, and so like this is like part of Vlogmas. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.